Hi, I'm Camille with Foam Masters. I wanted to talk to you guys about Sandstone, which is the featured product on sale for the month of March. Um, for those of you that might use it, um, you know it's one of the most popular products from FauxFX. Um, for those of you who don't, I want to be able to do a little demo for you as well as show you some finished samples of it. It's a really universal product. Um, it can be used for a lot of different things. It's a really nice texturing material. It's uh, economical. It could be used as a scratch coat. Uh, it could be glazed. There's a lot of different things um, that could be done. It's also VOC compliant for those of you who are concerned about eco-friendly materials in your projects. Um, this is an awesome choice for you. So I want to show you a little bit about it. Um, this right here is sandstone that I've already done in a skim coat. And so this is dry. I've just done like a vertical skim right here. Um, you can see it has a slight texture. What I want to show you right now in this next step is what is so cool about sandstone because it has a really unique quality that not other products have. It has this uh, sand-like aggregate in it that when you compress it and use pressure against it, it will crush and um, change the color and the effect on the surface, which is really cool and no other product does it. So I'm gonna demo that for you right now. And so what I have are my favorite tools, which are pointed Japanese stainless steel trowels. So I use a larger one as my hawk. I use the medium size to apply. I'm left-handed, so for those of you watching the video, going to be left-handed so the right-handed people you might get thrown off a little bit so I'm gonna load up my trowel with uh, this is sandstone right out of the bucket untinted you can see it has really nice texture and body to it and what I'm going to do is just to keep with this vertical feel I'm going to skim it vertically um, but this can also be skim skipped in all different directions so whatever you fancy is fine but if you notice all these little particles in here you'll you'll get to see some magic come out in just a minute I'm gonna get a little section on but now I'm going to use the edge of my trowel and I'm gonna use some pressure and if you can see how those aggregates start to crush and break up and what's really cool about this is this can be uh, translated into a really minimalist modern finish where you don't even need to glaze it and do much to it so it can be a really simplistic finish that is beautiful in a lot of different styles and spaces so you can see when it's not compressed the material stays on the wider side but what's really cool is you can get a lot of variation just by the pressure of your trowel this is um, also, like I said, really good for a scratch coat. If you're dealing with maybe some faux stone techniques or if you're wanting to do maybe a fireplace or a mantle and you need to build up your base coat, you can thin down sandstone about 25% and you can roll it on. So it makes for a really quick scratch coat. And uh, this is, like I said, on sale only for the month of March, 20% uh, off any size, any quantity. You can find it at faustore.com. And if you're looking for a local distributor for FauxFX products, you can go to faufx.com and search for your local distributor wherever you're at in the country. And uh, they'll be able to get this out for you. But you can see this is a really beautiful, effortless product. Now you see again, how I'm just using a little bit more pressure on this and how those aggregates crush and break up. It's just such a beautiful natural color that is just so in right now. Everybody wants the neutral, the soft, the smooth. This doesn't really require a whole lot of prep. As long as you're using your uh, set coat, uh, base coat paint as a base, um, you're good to go. This is untinted, like I said. You can tint this with faux cream colors um, or even set coat. I've actually added like 20% set coat to it before just to tint it. Um, I have also done sandstone in a couple different finishes. This is sandstone in a similar process to this, the, the vertical feel, um, but this has been glazed and then there's also a stencil on this one as well. But the other thing that I wanna show you is I have brushed sandstone for some really cool effects. I'll show you this one first. So this one is actually brushed sandstone. 
And I don't know if you can see the, the cool shimmer in it. There's a lot going on in this one. But sandstone was used as the base and it was brushed actually with just a really large tip brush. This goes surprisingly fast. For those of you that are concerned with time on a finish, like how long is this gonna take me? This goes pretty fast um, because it's pretty simple. You just brush, it's, this is obviously directionally. It could also be done horizontally if you wanted to do that. Um, but this is another example of a brushed sandstone finish with some other colors. Um, this is featuring some luster stone colors as well as I think some of the new palette deco colors. But you can see it's just this beautiful linen-like texture um, that is so universal and so modern that it can be used a lot of different ways. So sandstone is definitely one of my favorite go-to products when I just need something with that right amount of texture. And like I said, to get this much variation in just a couple passes is exceptional. So go check it out, faustore.com, sandstone, 20% off, only in the month of March.